Hey what's going on guys this is Kedar here and today in this video we are going to install dual boot Windows 11 and Windows 10 onto a single PC. Make sure you hit that like, share this video and subscribe to our channel and let's get started. Now in order to install two operating system in one PC we need to create two bootable drives. Well the process of creating the bootable drives is pretty much easy and similar for both of the Windows 10 and 11. You just need to select the proper image uh, like a Windows 10 or Windows 11 and that's it. So uh, for example, I'm going to only show you the one process. So let's see how we can create a Windows bootable drive. So let's create a Windows bootable drive. So we are going to open up the Rufus tool and select the Windows 11 disk. And here it is. Now let's click on open. And here we have the disk. Now let's uh, simply click on the start button and there we go. Clicking on OK, our Windows bootable disk should be creating now. So first step first, say goodbye to Windows 10. Then hit the BIOS hotkey onto your system and select the UEFI boot disk that we have just created. So first of all, we are going to install Windows 10 bootable disk. Let's select this UEFI bootable disk that we have just created and click on install now. I have already skipped the most of the part of the installation. So let me elaborate some of the important ones. So here we go. I'm going to select the Windows 10 Pro. I accept the license agreements. Now I'm going to delete the unnecessary partitions over here and only gonna keep those ones I need. So there we go. Now here you can see I only kept the one important partition and select this, uh, click on new and uh, here we go now since we are going to install two operating systems i'm going to divide my disk in half so it's uh, basically like uh, 87236 uh, that's the half partition for windows 10 so let me put this and yeah that's basically it guys you have to do it for your own disk and there we go clicking on ok and this is my partitions now so there we go clicking on next and our Windows 10 should be installing now. Now, if you have the Windows 10 already installed, you don't need to do these steps. So yeah, guys, you can skip to the next step. So here we go. Our Windows 10 is uh, installing now and I'm doing some basic things, a uh, setup installation and that kind of stuff, privacy settings and all that. So clicking next, next pretty much. And there we go. Our Windows 10 is set it up and it will take a few minutes or so to boot it up and once we are booted up into the windows 10 so our windows 10 is successfully installed now if you already have the windows 10 you can continue from this point so here we go go into the this pc and you can see this is the disk i have right now and right click on expand and into the manage you can see uh, we need to manage our disk so let's do this guys so here we are in the disk manager and first of all click into the disk management and over here you can see I have some unallocated space. Now this is really important you need some unallocated space for OS installation. If you don't have it well you can simply click on any unnecessary drive and select a delete volume option to create unallocated space right there. So now you need to plug in your uh, Windows 11 bootable drive that you have already created and shut down your PC. And we are booting up into BIOS options. So pressing the hotkey, I'm into the BIOS options and going to select the Windows 11 bootable drive. So from this point, the installation might look familiar. Simply click on install and there it is. It should be installing now. Now here you can see I don't have any product key since this Windows 11 is not released yet. So I will click over here and you can see there are a bunch of Windows 11 versions over here. Windows 11 Pro and Pro Education but uh, for now I'm going to select Windows 11 Pro and click on next. Now here you can accept the agreement click on next again. From my previous Windows installation, I have a couple of uh, partitions. So this is a really important step. Please do not delete any of the partition because we have already installed one operating system before. Click on desired partition and click on next. So there we go. Now our Windows 11 should be installing now. So Windows 11 is promising some serious advantages over Windows 10. 
So there we go guys, our installation is pretty much done. Now here select the first Windows 10 option and there we go, our Windows 11 is booted up. Wow, that is impressive. Now the Windows icon is like this. Oh wow, <laughs> we have some more things to install and finish up. So here we have the language and other settings like that. Honestly guys, if you think this icon looks like a telegram icon, let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, clicking on the next, we have bunch of other installation steps left. So the keyboard input layout method, also adding my Wi-Fi network, its password and all that. Honestly, like this process took like a uh, five to 10 minutes, but yeah, I'm skipping this video forward so you don't have to waste the time. So clicking next over here and it's checking for the updates as usual. If you have noticed uh, close enough, you can observe the edges of the windows are now much not sharper, <laughs> I mean, it's uh, rounded. So this is a leaked copy of Windows 11, you know, and in the privacy settings uh, for now, I'm going to disable every of those privacy settings. But if you are installing the legit copy of Windows 11, you can surely trust on those, uh, but that's totally your choice. So I'm going to disable every of the privacy setting. And yeah, that's really important, I think. And then accept. So you can see this might take few minutes, uh, I mean hours, <laughs> you know guys, it will take somewhat longer than that usual. Wow, it took really long. I actually skipped this to about 10x to 11x and we are almost there. And there it is guys, this is our Windows 11. So now you need to open up the easy BCD tool. I have given link in the description below by the way. Uh, this is a kind of optional step, but uh, going into the edit boot menu, you can uh, rename the boot menu as a Windows 11 for your proper, uh, you know. So in this case, uh, the first option is uh, my Windows 11. So here we go and let's save the settings. If you are watching this video after the official release, you don't need to do this step. So there we go guys. So let me shut down my PC and I will reboot it. So in order to show you my dual boot system, here we go. You can see Windows 11 and Windows 10. I can select any of those. So first of all, let's boot up our Windows 11. And here we go guys, our PC is booted up into Windows 11. In the settings, you can see I'm using the developer build, the Windows 11 Pro, and this is my OS build right over here. Now let me shut down and boot up my Windows 10 right over here. So let's select the second option, the Windows 10 and boom, there you go guys. We are in our Windows 10 and let me show you the about page. Here we go. You can see I'm using Windows 10 Pro, the 21 H1 version. If you have liked this video, hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and do check out my other videos where I did lots of things with Windows 11 Pro and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Goodbye.